Good evening. My name is Matt Chance. Welcome to the 13th episode of Ask Atlanta. Today, we are at the Atlanta Beltline with our boy Matt Chance asking people, What is something you think everyone should try once? Let's go find out some answers. Thanks, Matt. We are um, here at the Beltline, about to get some answers. Let's check them out. What is something everyone should try once in life? Acid. I feel like everybody should just try to look at life from a different point of view. Because I just feel like too many people try to look at life just in one way. And I think that's why people stress so much in life. So I feel like if people were to just take a minute to just sit back and just look at most of the things that they go through from a different point of view, I just feel like people would just be more comfortable when it's a lot of mayhem going on in their life, really. And I feel like that's how people can really be happy, honestly. Traveling outside of the country. Tofu. <laughs> I have nothing. Because <laughs> I was going to say what you were going to say. You said the same Traveling. thing. Traveling. <laughs> Living abroad for at least a month. Yeah, I think everyone should try uh, food that scares them once because uh, you might like it and uh, it's food, so you should try it, yeah. Try once I think life. everyone should try these skydiving, snorkeling, travel, get on a cruise, a boat for sure, go deep out to the water. Uh, and I think everyone should try another language. Everyone should definitely try skydiving. Oh, that's a new yeah, one. Yeah. That's so, good, man. Jump off an airplane, man. <laughs> Traveling. You vegetables. I think everyone, one time in their life, should try a threesome. Uh, I think everybody should try to fly, like, in cheer. I think everybody should try watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I think everyone should do hard drugs at least once in their life. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> okay, let me let me go ahead and turn off my earphones. All right. Um, every, something everyone should try once is uh, learning about communism, because our government tells us that communism is evil and communism takes away our freedoms, but we know our government lies to us. So why should we listen to the people we know lies to us and be like, oh, of course, communism takes away our freedoms. You know, in Little Five Points in Atlanta, I came here five or six years ago, they had benches. And at that time, they said, it's crazy because we used to have the trees out in the open. The trees weren't caged up with fences. And then now I come back, and the benches are gone, gone too. And they tell us that communism is what takes away our freedoms. No, capitalism is what takes away our freedoms because it gives all the labor value to less than a tenth of a percent of the people and then every all the rest of us is it, 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 dealt the short hand and, and why should i have to be homeless why should i have to walk down these sidewalks and ask people for the leftovers whenever for five years I, i've built houses i've done landscaping i've worked hard i'm not one of these uh college privileged socialists that you hear about you know i, I i've worked hard for years when I was a kid, our electric would turn off. And we had, to, we had to go stay with my stepdad's mother and his cousins and all this because we, we couldn't afford our bills. At, at times, we didn't have a house. Habitat for Humanity gave us a house, and my mother sold it because <laughs> she needed some money. <laughs> so one thing I'm pleased, I try to tell everyone, please, give communism a chance. I'm not saying give it a chance as in become a follower of it blindly. I'm saying, re read Lenin. Read what is to be done by Lenin. Read Stalin. They tell you Stalin was evil. Okay, okay. They tell you Stalin killed 60, 60 million people, which, which, which that figure is a lie. More, more like 20 million people died <laughs> uh, 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 under his reign as the leader of the Soviet Union. Okay, think about that. Think about that, right? 20 million people. But we know you can look it up for yourself 10 to 20 million people die every single year under capitalism and under United States imperialism. Our leaders are killing innocent people in the Middle East right now as we speak because they want to profit off the oil. And they want us, they want the, not even us, just the less than 1% of the people to live as kings in this land. But that only comes with the subjugation of other lands. 
people in Africa are starving. You know why? It's, it's, it's not because they're backwards or savage people. It's because directly because the United States keeps them in that state and, and, and they give them some, some resources. They say, here's some food. But will they ever give them the power to build their own, their own system that works for them? No. They killed Gaddafi. You know why? It wasn't because he was an evil man. They, they, they say Gaddafi did all these terrible things. You can, you can look, you can look it up for yourself. Don't believe, don't believe the capitalist media. At, don't take it at face value. Of course, look at the capitalist media, but look at the other side too. You know, G Gaddafi uh, is he was the one country all in the Middle East where w women in, in Libya, women had equal rights. Women didn't have to follow what men, men said in, in Gaddafi's Libya. But you know what? The, the, the United States said, okay, we need to free this people because they're living under socialism and then he's terrorizing his people. When really, Gaddafi was putting down the Al-Qaeda resistance movements and the NATO even admitted that they helped fund the terrorist movements to replace Gaddafi. And they say, once Gaddafi is gone, then the, the wealth of the oil can be given to the people so the people can live better. When under Gaddafi, that was the reality. But now you can look it up for yourself. They don't have a set real government in Libya. They have different terrorist groups fighting for power, for capitalist control over the country so they can take some of the riches that the United States trickles down to them for being in, the, in a leadership position and allowing capitalism to continue. So please, read Lenin, read Stalin, read Mao. Yeah, Mao Zedong, read him. Yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, you may decide for yourself that these people are evil. But we know our leaders are evil, and we all know this. So why should we listen to them tell us that other people are evil? Why not at least read the writings of these people and decide for yourself? Don't say Lenin, Stalin, or Mao was evil until you have read all the sides of it for yourself. You have read the works done by them, and you have looked at the real sources, not people, not rich people who come from Cuba and say, oh, my, my family's land was taken from communism. Yeah, you had plantations where you subjugated other people and took the value of their labor and you lived as kings while other people lived as slaves. Yes, of course your land was taken from you. And that's what, that's what needs to be done now. These, these people that have landlords that own all these apartment complexes and all the people that have to live paycheck to paycheck. We basically live as slaves in our own land. Just so less than 1% of us can live as kings. So please, one thing that everyone should try once is reading Lenin, reading Stalin, and reading Mao, and learning the truth about communism. Right and on, that's man. all I'll say for now. Beautiful. Go to a music festival. A blunt. The reason is because if you decide you want to try it later on in life, it's not going to end good for you. Uh, I'll say skydiving. Being rejected. Own a dog, your own dog. Um, it's very, uh, it's fun, and you get to learn a lot about yourself and you know your first, your, your, your another, another guest type of human being. <laughs> and it it, uh, it shows you a lot. You can learn a lot from both. And I, I I've had him for a year and a half now, and I've had a blast. So I think everyone should try to own their own dog. Pizza. <laughs> Si podemos recorrer el mundo, mejor todavía. Es una experiencia extraordinaria. Enamorarse. Action sports. I believe that everyone should travel uh, internationally. That will open path for them. They'll have open mindset in terms of how we accept people. And that will make a lot of difference. And not necessarily like in you know, a people living in Atlanta, even if they travel outside Georgia or let's say they go to California cross country. That would also make a lot of sense in terms of that, what people think living in a different part of the world. I think to do a careful discovery of what is the, the human significance or the significance of, uh, of Jesus Christ in the human situation. Um, a psychedelic drug. Perfect. Okay, Sorry. because 
I know you're going to ask me why, so here we go. Why? Um, it is in my life, there's like a line, and it's BC is before and AD is after. It's a transformative experience that connects you with yourself and allows you to connect with everyone else because of that. I believe that everyone should come and ask a question to why ask Atlanta. Why slash ask Atlanta? Answer a question or ask a question? Answer a question, yeah. Answer Did a I question. say ask? Yeah. Well, they could ask you one back. That would be cool. Yeah. Turn the tables. Perfect. And then it's not responding. Psychedelics. Psychedelics. I feel like uh, as a society, we need to shift our minds. So that should be top five. Not, I'll say not the top thing, but definitely top of the list. Perfect. Yeah, I would say just uh, actually living like yourself for once and not really caring about what other people do. Because at the end of the day, you got your own. You got your own. Mushrooms. Everyone should try LSD one time in their life. Look, man, everyone should try Rhinos Pizzeria, man. You know what it is? That's the best pizza in motherfucking Atlanta for sure, man. If, if anything else, like, go to Rhinos Pizzeria on yeah. Buckhead, like, on Peach Street, you know, that's the, like, try everything. Like, the wine, all that, man. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, Hefe, your soul in this bitch. And go make sure you go check out my music video on YouTube. We're going viral, 10,000 views. We almost had a... When we drop 10,000, we're going to get more music video outs. And follow King Shay. You know what it is. Her brand, the beauty and the brand. That's what it is, man. And make sure y'all go subscribe. Their channel. We're going so live right now. So you know what it is. Big dope. That's the best pizza in Atlanta, for sure. Number two. Well, it used to be number one, but now it's two. But still number one, because they closed down number one. So that's number one now. You know what I'm saying? So go to restaurant of Pizzeria. Tell them for y'all so he sent you. Yeah. Okay. Get all your stuff together, pack it up in the suitcase, and skateboard and suitcase at the same time. Perfect. And ride um, turtles. Go turtle riding. Oh, walk through Atlanta and have a good time and meet people and talk to people and just coexist with everybody and not, not judge everybody away. Yeah, go th walk, walk through the belt line. That's something everybody should try once. Walk through the belt line. Peace, love, and good vibes in your heart. Enjoy it, talk to people. Communicate and coexist. Yeah. Back to you, Matt. <sighs> thank you, Matt. Thank you, everybody, for your fantastic answers. And thank you all for watching this episode tonight. I wish you a wonderful night and a fantastic week. Good night. <laughs>